us to do a review. I need to fix the camera. I didn't realize how crappily positioned it was. Hey there. Today I'm doing a review, my first comic review, actually, on one of my favorite TV shows turned into a comic. Invader Zam, issue one, by Oni Press. So, I picked up this comic about a week ago, I want to say. Yeah, exactly a week ago. And, at first I didn't have high hopes for it, but it took off where the TV show left off. Um, I'm just going to breeze through it real quick. It starts with a guy called Recap Kid telling you everything that happened in the TV show. Then it shows Dib in the future, and how he's gotten really fat, and he's been sitting in a room watching a monitor, trying to find out where Zim is. And Zim finally comes back, and he rolls himself out onto the sidewalk on his little office chair. And he confronts Zim, only to find out that Zim was hiding in a toilet for two years. Alright, let's see what happens next. They have a fight. And Zim leaves. And Dib can't catch up to him. So, next thing that happens in the story, Dib goes back to his house to find out that everything in his room was sold. And his entire room was cleaned giving him the opportunity to put in a treadmill, I think. Is it a treadmill or a weight set? I think he has a weight set. Zim and Gur spy on him for a little bit. Then they talk to... Zim and Gur talk to an alien friend from the Urken planets. God, I forgot what his name was called. Prisoner 777. They ask him for a code to contact something called the Gargantus Array, and Prisoner 777 freaks out. Meanwhile, Dib is uh, exercising. He's trying to get not fat. So. Um. During the time where Dib is exercising, Zim threatens to kill Prisoner 777's children. Prisoner 777 does not know where the Gargantus Array is, but he knows someone who knows. So, of course, Zim is going to try to find them. Dib tries to confront them, but Zim and his sidekick Gur make it away. In a spaceship. I don't know. I'm probably gonna. The spoilers in the future. So, Dib goes home and he unlocks a door where he finds a spaceship. That's literally. That's literally what happens. And then it's the end of the comic. You got a poster, you got advertisements, you got another poster, and another advertisement. That's the comic. To be honest, this is just, um, input. Input, um, my input would be, um, to be honest, I was expecting the comic to be longer, you know, but... It's only a couple. It's easy to explain, which I like, but I would have liked for it to be longer. You know, like I am a I am a very big fan of the Invader Sim series. Um, the guy who writes and draws most of it, um, Jonan Vasquez, he's one of my favorite artists. I collect his things. Um, 
this picture that I drew back here is based on his work. So, yeah, um, I expected something a little bit longer, you know. It's a good read, but it could have been longer. It could have easily been longer, you know. There's going to be more issues to it, so I'm probably going to read those. Is that a car? No. Um, so, uh, my ratings, uh, I get four out of five stars. It could be longer, you know, and I, they gave you a poster at the end, so they must have known I wanted it to be longer because they gave me a poster. few posters, I think. Two posters. I, 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 I've been reading Oni Press ever since I started remaking, um, Rick and Morty. So, I'm officially, I'm a minor fan of Oni Press, but, just some creative input, you know. They should make the next issue a little bit longer. <sighs> They should, they should ask Jonan Vasquez to illustrate it, too, because I like his illustrations. Um, who illustrated this, actually? Oh, wait. I put a dent in it. No. Uh, pencils by Aaron Alexkovic. Colors by Simon Trouser. Um. Yeah. The only thing that Joni Vasquez really worked on was the cover and the writing, which, I don't know. It it was quality, I want to say, but they could have made it a little bit longer and they could have asked Joni to illustrate it. I thought it was good, you know, 4 out of 5, but it could have been longer. You know, that's like one of my only complaints, so I really don't have anything to complain about. But overall, amazing comic. If you can find it, go read it. Definitely. If you're new if you're new to the series, definitely read the intro. Um Recap Kid tells you about what happened. Just like a filler bunny, which no one will know. But Basically the same concept. Good read. Good art. If you can find it, go read it. It's it's worth your time. If you've seen... I keep knocking things over. If you've seen the show before, you'll definitely connect to it. It has the old feel of Invader Zim. It's kind of macabre. But it's not exactly for adults. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. Um, if you guys would like me to review another comic, I just did a vlog about comics that I got from Mighty Con. You can go check that out. Um, my only social media would be my DeviantArt, so I'll post that in the description. You can go look at that if you want. I don't know if you will, but you should. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to do next, leave them in the comments, which I know you won't do. <laughs> Bye!